Yeah, so you can have a seat. Okay. So, sit you down. Okay. Oh, all right. Perfect. What is the first song you ever loved? I would have been a child. I mean, it was probably something from a Disney film, from Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. I was like Once Upon a Dream. That's Sleeping Beauty, isn't it? It was so beautiful. It had so many musicians and instruments and it was just stunning. Mm -hmm. Disney films are elite. Especially during lockdown, I watched all of them. <laughs> um, describe your happy place. Oh, um, a warm room and people I love in the room. I don't really have loads of friends, so there'll be like three or four or five of us and there'll be some nice wine, a nice bottle of wine and there'll be card games and we'll have Mario Kart set up in the next room or something like that. And then we'll just have a lovely night and we'll eat really nice food and we'd we'll have jazz music on in the background. After that, we'll maybe go out to Jazz After Dark or, or Ronnie's or something nice like that and just sit down and just enjoy some jazz. Happy place, I've just described my dream. Happy evening. As a kid, I was just like really happy around music, musicians. So I guess it's kind of the same today. Well, I'd say one of my favorite songs is a song called Baltimore, sung by Nina Simone. It's such a beautiful song and it takes me back to a really nice time with my friend. We sat by the river and he was like, you need to listen to this song. And I listened to it and I was like, wow. I loved it and it was a sunny day and people were swimming in the river and stuff and I was just there looking around like this is so pretty. I think there's inspiration in anything. I think when you're feeling amazing or, or not, when you're somewhere you love being or somewhere you hate being, I think there's inspiration in all of it. And that was a nice song that reminds me of that time. That's a happy place. I love the sun. I like being warm. And then I chose to be a London girl. <laughs> And it is grey all day, all the time. What is the best piece of advice you've ever been given? There's a few I can think of. One of them being, don't focus on the things out of your control. Meaning, there's no point wasting sleep, stressing or feeling anxious or worried about things that you can't influence or change. You know, I think especially as a musician, this is a really healthy mindset to have because, you know, you can't control how people are going to perceive or receive your music. It's also a deeper thing that, you know, my career is creating things to be judged, which is like quite intense. And so I think part of that comes with accepting not everyone's going to get it, not everyone's going to like it. And that's okay that you don't have to please everyone and you can't control those things. Can't control even if someone's gonna like you or not. But if you're just being yourself and you're being nice and someone isn't connecting with that, then that's on them. Also at the end of the day, like I've never done this because I wanted to make money, which explains why I'm making no money on tour because I wanna have to show my dreams with amazing musicians. I think it's like a mental battle every day, isn't it? Looking at the glass half full where possible and being positive and focusing on things that I have control over. I don't need that negativity. Constructive criticism, yes. Negativity, no. For no reason, no. I'm trying to learn to step back from the negative stuff and just really enjoy this life. We've got one life and then we die in it. That's the one thing that's guaranteed in life. <laughs> and that's something we have absolutely zero control over. But we have control over how we... I don't know, this is so deep. <laughs> How would your loved ones describe you? Um, 
they would describe me as um, determined, um, protective, because I'm very protective of the people that I love. Um, music, music head, um, chatterbox, foodie, love food. Uh, extremists, always take everything to the extremes. Like there's no medium with me. If I'm doing something, I'm like, I suck at multitasking, I'm like. I don't typically show when I'm really, really sad. I guess maybe that's why on this tour I've been trying to break some of those things. I do this part where I just take my clothes off and I'm just stood there in my underwear. And I definitely have like body insecurities and things I'm working through in that, but I'm trying to open up more to my audience because this music is so honest anyway. So what's the point in kind of holding back? Okay. Question five in the mirror as requested. This is a deep question, why are you asking me this? What do you see when you look in the mirror? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I think the mirror is a very 50-50 experience. And I feel like maybe a lot of people can relate. Sometimes you'll look in the mirror and be like, that's nice, or that's good. And then sometimes it'll feel like the opposite. But that's okay. I think that's just part of life. I think it's something, you know, I'm very much working through. Look, I have a song called Body Dysmorphia on my album. It's definitely not my strength in life. Self-love is important though, and it's something that we all have to work on. I think it's not good to spend too much time looking in the mirror, or you'll just stop pointing out all the flaws. I don't know. Yep, it's a deep one, but um, I don't know. Hopefully that's something that gets better with time. It's still a touchy subject for me. Talk to someone about it, maybe just don't feel these things alone. I think things are much more overwhelming when we're like processing them alone. So talk to someone. But yeah, I just use music as my therapy to try and process stuff or feel a bit better, so. I've wanted to be honest in this music and just talk about stuff. Uh, honestly, I think, you know, it's important, so yeah. It's definitely not easy, and I'm not great at talking about it, which is why I just put them in songs. Because they sound at least a little bit more beautiful inside a song than inside my head. So, yeah. But yeah, I think, yeah. It all really does come down to self-love, and that is a journey in itself. So, you know, yeah. I hope we'll all figure it out bit by bit. <laughs>